they if this was 30 years ago, we would have had a great a report about that game last week. That's a top 10 quarterback battle of all time, Jeff. You know, 397 on one side, 319 on the other side. We both threw for four touchdowns in this game. They both threw for over 75 in the completion percentage. Why did we not talk about the duel in this game as much as, you know, you talk about everything else in football? That was an absolutely incredible day, period, point blank. Hurts and Howe put on a damn show. That reminded me of um, Marino and O'Brien in the Meadowlands in the 80s. Man, that was a beautiful, beautiful uh, game, man. And it reminded me of another game they had in Miami years ago between Marino and Bledsoe. So, you know, man, these are these. Are, this is what makes the NFL great. Sometimes you'll get a matchup that's not a big matchup, but it turns into a big matchup, and it's usually these divisional games. And I'm saying this because I like the commander's confidence, man. I don't care what anybody says about this team. They still have a confidence to themselves that they can go win these games. And they easily could be a team that's five and three at this point. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's too much discrediting of the the commanders because they don't have box office names for you. But they have one of the better receiving cores in the NFL. Their one issue is the running game. And I just really feel like what happens with their defense is they spend too much time on the field and they don't have enough back end and they're not getting enough pressure on the quarterback. But they're a team that they get better as they go. But there's a lot of issues going on in Washington right now. Now, when it comes to the Patriots, the Patriots aren't playing to win, dude. I don't think they are. I think the Patriots are playing for the idea that they're going to go get this kid, Drake May, from uh, North Carolina. Or they get, got the opportunity to go get one of these really good quarterbacks in college. Because this is a quarterback draft coming up, Jeff. I think we'll get five in the top 15, at least. You know what I mean? Because all these teams that are going to be in the top 15 are looking for quarterbacks. So the Patriots are going to always show effort, but they know they don't have the roster. They just don't, Jeff, they just don't have a roster. The roster is, this is not a Belichick roster. This is a Josh McDaniels roster. You know what I mean? That's why it's like, why y'all embarrassing Bill like this? You know what I mean? Because Bill, we still know he's putting in a, a, a lot of effort to get this team over the top, but it's just not working, you know? And I feel like the commanders are going to be really pissed this week. And Airbnb enemy knows exactly how to attack Bill Belichick. So my good news only, dog better the week. And this is kind of a simple one. Like they literally are handing me a golden situation. I feel like this is a golden ticket. Give me the plus 135 on the commanders, man. Got to take it. No doubt about it. What are your thoughts? Who do you have winning the game? You know, I've been getting chastised all year, and I'm glad you're saying something initially on this one. Sam Howell, all the Washington commanders, and the people don't watch the games, I'm not saying Sam Howell is Joe Theismann, okay? But my point is he can make all the throws. And, and you know what? If you gave him an offensive line, he is the most sacked quarterback in the NFL, and it's not even close. He's got all the weapons. The reemergence, thank God, he was – uh, on a milk carton all year, Jahan Dotson finally comes back to life. If he had more time, you know, uh, McLaurin has a big game. Logan Thomas has a big game. This initially reminded me of when the Saints came in and they beat the Patriots 31 nothing or 33 nothing, whatever the final score was. Uh, uh, the, the Patriots two weeks ago were the talk where they stunned the Bills. They were in a, a bad situation, obviously, in South Beach. This is where the Patriots begin their march, a game against – Washington this week, and then they traveled to Frankfurt to face the Colts. So I like the Pats. I'm not going to mess with the spread. I laid the minus 155. It's a big number. I don't like doing that, but I think the Pats get it done. And I think Sam Howell, as big of a week he had last week, I think Bill will find ways to slow him down and, and look for a pick or two maybe. If not, if they don't put pressure on Sam Howell, he will pick them apart. So give me the Pats. Give me the money line. Just win, baby. Uh, my number uh, was two with a 40 and a half. It's now three with a 40. I think this is your patented. Give me uh, 23, 13 pups on this one. All right. All right. Are you So you're saying that the Pats play some defense here and lock it up and yeah, get themselves a nice win at home. You know, because if, you, if this game was on the road, I know you're not taking the Pats. 
Hell no. But, <laughs> but, but you know what, though, Jeff? You're smart. You know that the history of the commanders coming to Boston has not been good since they left the place years ago. So, you know, pretty much um, – oh, yeah, you guys got to know that, too. Boston Redskins are the original Boston team. And actually, they were the Boston Braves at first, and then the Boston Braves didn't like them having their name, so they named themselves the Redskins as an even more super diss towards the Bo – the Boston Braves were a little controversial when you think about them uh, <laughs> nowadays, you know what I mean? But, hey, you a team that moved four times before you got settled, so it is what it is. But before we go to commercial break, one thing about Sam Howe that I want to say, Sam Howell was a top, was considered the best quarterback coming out the draft his junior year and decided to stay back a year with Mac Brown. We all know this. He, stay, he decided to stay back with Coach Mac and, you know, raise his status, but they were chasing a national title. They were trying to make history at North Carolina. That's why you got to like a kid like this because he could have ran to the NFL and been a top pick, but he said, no, I want to help the, the, them do something great. You know what I mean? And I, I should still be in the same position next year. But it kind of messed him up. But it put him in the right situation to where when we saw Sam Howell get drafted by the Washington, uh, by Washington, we said he'll be starting soon. That's the equivalent of getting a number one pick. That's like getting Russell Wilson in late in the draft. Uh, that's like getting Levis in late in the draft. But another thing, just the last thing about Howell is this is that if you put Sam Howe on the Atlanta Falcons right now, Jeff, they would probably be, I would say, 6-2 and two with a quarterback like that. He's going to get Drake London. He's going to get Pitts right. He's going to make Bijan Robinson look like the next coming of Barry Sanders. He'll make Algier look great. He's not that, – that would be a beautiful move for them. But the thing was, I think when you look at it, they had the opportunity, but they went and got Desmond Ritter, of all people. So it is what it is at the end of the day, man. And um, we go ahead. We're going to take our first commercial break. When we get back, we got tons more games to talk about. So you guys stay tuned. This is the NFL Bet Exchange.